So, we're going to set a driver with a uh, test load. This is Flex Drive V5. I've already got the wire soldered on. Uh, I haven't set the current range. We're going to do that also. So, got this. And we've got Rockstar's test load. I had the uh, leads to the multimeter already soldered on. Make things easier. Uh, the bridge is already done for Blu-ray. Except what the flex drive is going on. And you need your digital multimeter set to uh, 2,000 millivolts. Okay. So first off, we need to set the current range. Paper that comes with the driver shows all the different options. So I'm gonna go with this one, the 108 to 412 milliamp, which it shows in the picture. You have to bridge these two resistors. A lot of people will just use a a blob of solder to uh, bridge the two. But I found that sometimes that can be difficult and you'll end up desoldering a lot of the components. So, what I do is I have a piece of pretend wire right here. And we'll desolder it onto the resistors and then clip the excess off. This has a little bit of uh, flux on it. Basically, I dipped it in the flux and then uh, wiped it off a little bit just to kind of help it stick. So, you just want to get the wire on both of the resistors. Just give it a little tap. And it's connected. Makes it a lot easier than using the blob of solder. Okay, so now that we've got that done. I'm gonna take the leads from the from the test load and connect them to the uh, output leads on the driver. You can tell because they're the ones that are kind of centered in the driver, while the input terminals are towards the edge on the same side as the pot. So now it's connected. We'll put the battery on it. You want to make sure you connect it to the test load before you put the battery on it. I know the old versions of the flex drives um, have the potential to get damaged if you don't have a load on it when you put the power into it. I don't know if that's still the case with these new ones or not though. But better safe than sorry. Okay, so I've got everything connected. Right now it's showing 161 millivolts, which is milliamps. Now you need to find a tool small enough to go into this pot. That's kind of the trickiest part. Um, this little thing, it's one of those, uh, micro screwdrivers. Don't ask me why, there's a big thing of epoxy on it. Get it till it catches.
as you spin the pot, you'll notice the numbers start to go up. It'll reach its highest and then it'll drop back down to its lowest. So there is no end. Because it's a 360 degree pot. And I'm aiming for around 320. Too far. You'll also find that it won't be consistent. As you turn it, it'll go up slowly. And then it'll just have one little spot where it just jumps up really quick, where it's really sensitive. And the screwdriver doesn't want to go counterclockwise. So I'm spinning it a lot. It's only going up a little. I know I'm going to get to the very end and it's going to hop really far. It's already starting. See, it jumped from like 300 to 379. Another solution, if you have this problem and you can't get it set, you can try a different uh, current range. That way your uh, desired current will be at a different spot on the pot. A less sensitive one. I'm hoping I can get it on this one now. But I may end up having to do the uh, 155 to 600 milliamp setting. Right now I'm changing it from uh, 108 to 412 to uh, 155 to 600. That way the uh, 300 range on the pot will be, won't be in the sensitive area of the pot. By the way, I don't know if this damages the driver or not, so I'm hoping not. Changing the uh, current range while it's running. Now it's connected to all three. Which should make it a lot easier for me to get the range I want, the current I want. Gonna aim for 321. That's about as close as I'm going to get it. <laughs> it requires a delicate touch. Right. Eventually you'll get it. Anyways, that's about it. Make sure to connect the battery before you take it off the test load. And you're ready to hook it up to the diode.